greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. And today I'm going to entitle this video, and I'm not going to say the word out of respect because I try not to use profanity because you don't know who's listening or watching your videos. So I'm going to explain to you why I'm entitling it this. Uh, I recently had two issues with eBay and PayPal, and actually it was like less than four weeks between each other. And I'm going to explain to you the first, the second one first, and the first one second. Because it's quite obvious, and I'm sure people, some people can agree with me, eBay lean more towards in favor of the buyer as opposed to the seller. And it's still just an even playing field. Because this is what happened. I recently sold a unit, the EMU Planet Fat, the swing system. Now, you can go on eBay today and type that up, and that goes anywhere from $100 to $175. I sold mine for $50, and there was nothing wrong with it. It's just that I did not have any use for it in my MIDI setup, and I don't like clutter, so I was literally just trying to give it away. And so I sold it to a guy, but nothing wrong with it, shipped it to him. Uh, it got to him on the 9th. I get an email from him on the 5th, five days later, complaining that due to poor packaging, it was damaged. I'm saying to myself, first of all, if it was damaged, why didn't you contact me the first day and tell me this? You know, who waits five days when something shows up that look like a truck hit it? You know, he sent me pictures of it like somebody took a hammer and beat this thing. And uh, I was just going to say, you know what, I'm going to just send you your money back because, uh, you know, perhaps the post office dropped the ball. But as far as the uh, poorly packaging, nonsense. I put it in an oversized box, wrapped it in bubble plastic, taped it up, put it back in the box, put newspaper, and sealed it with some heavy uh, selling tape. So I'm like, uh, that's totally untrue. You know, so uh, I said, you know what, well, just send it back and I'll, I'll give you the money because uh, it is my responsibility to get it to you intact, you know, with the help of the post office. And if they drop the ball, I'm responsible for that. I totally understand I have a problem with it. So he sent me pictures, you know, the knob is missing now, and this metal unit is bent. I'm like, who can bend a metal unit? So uh, he sent me those pictures, and then the last picture threw up a red flag because he took a picture of the bottom and the screws was missing. I'm like, what are the chances of three screws unlodging themselves doing poor packaging? You know, I'm like, so I contacted eBay because I'm like, you know, you guys need to investigate this because uh, something's not right here. And they even agreed. They said, yeah. Normally people wouldn't wait a whole week to, 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 to contact you if something came extremely damaged. And uh, all of a sudden, all, also, he wouldn't explain to me why he waited five days. Refused to answer that question. You know, so uh, I'm waiting on the verdict. And in, in the process of waiting, he emailed me again and said, you know, well, are you going to uh, accept the return? I'm like, uh, I can't do nothing to the 22nd because EVA is investigated. Ten minutes later, he sent me negative feedback. And the negative feedback said, uh, poor packaging, poor sh packaging, item damage, and then here's the lie. Uh, uh, he overcharged me, which is a flat lie. Uh, you guesstimate when you send an item out. You know, there's, a, there's never time you can 100% sure how much it's going to cost. So uh, I, sent, I sent it out, and there was a difference of $12, which I, I sent back to him two days later. And this is four days before he emailed me about the damage package. So it ain't like I was covering my tracks. I was just doing the right thing. So uh, that's clearly a lie. And I asked eBay to remove that. Uh, we can't do that until the, the ruling is ruled, you know, which, which is nonsense. If it's not true, it should make a difference how the ruling goes that this is not true and it needs to be ruled. So I knew right there they was on some BS. So then again, I get the verdict today, ruling in his favor. You know, they never did ask him why it take him five days. They never questioned him about why screws are missing. You know, so I'm like, you know what? I'm shutting this down. eBay is not getting another damn of my money. I'm not selling on there. I'm not buying on there. Now with PayPal, I got no choice to still deal with them until the time being because of the DVD sales and some other stuff. But I just want to share this uh, story with you guys that... Be careful on eBay because it's quite obvious that they lean heavy towards the buyer and not the seller. I noticed that about eight years ago when it used to be an even playing field. And what I mean by that is for the buyer and seller, you can leave neutral, positive, or negative feedback. I noticed that uh, about eight years ago, it was an even playing field. The buyer and seller could, sell, could uh, either uh, post neutral, positive, or negative feedback, either one of them. Now they remove that function from the sellers. Now the sellers can no longer 
leave negative feedback to the buyers. And I asked them, why was that? And they gave me some nonsense excuse, commerce or customer. I'm like, we're the ones, meaning the, the sellers, that pay your salary. You know, so I would think you'd be more in our favor, but I don't want you to be more in our favor. I just want to be, it to be a balance and be equal and fair. So it's quite obvious that they lean towards the sellers and still of the, of the buyers and still of the sellers. And I was going to go into the story about the other one, and I'll try to do that uh, quickly. Uh, I, sell, I sold some, some, somebody an item. They got it, and they clearly said, oh, well, it's kind of complicated, and I want to return it. I'm like, I'm sorry. It lists, there's no return, so you're going to have to just sell it. Whenever I get something that not to my liking and, and there's nothing wrong with it, I'm forced to just resell it. So uh, uh, he tried to get eBay to, to ask me to return it, and I refused. And eBay closed the case in my favor because uh, there was nothing wrong with the item. So then a couple of hours later, he lies and escalates it to PayPal and says, no, nah, this describing ain't working. And uh, I explained to them, and I even sent them a, a photo copy, not a uh, cut and paste, because you can easily manipulate that yourself. And it clearly states his interaction with me that the problem he had was it's just too complicated. He was too lazy to read the manual. Therefore, he wants to return them. Like, I'm sorry, there's no returns. And in spite of that information, which clearly states uh, when he contacted me, he said nothing about it. it's not working and uh, it's not as described. I want my money back. Nothing of, of that nature. So that right there should have just told PayPal, OK, this guy's lying. They ruined his favor, too. I'm like, you know what? I'm done with eBay and I'm going to be done with PayPal when I find another way of transporting money back and forth. I might just go with Google Wallet. But uh, it's quite obvious that they lean more towards the, the buyer than the seller instead of an even playing field. And that's all I'm asking is for an even playing field, not to be uh, leaning in their favor even when it doesn't look good for them. They still rule according to the buyer. So, again, as a result of that, no more eBay. Maybe eBay is not getting another dime of my money. Till next time, take care. Thanks for watching.